For these tutorials, I recommend you use a program called Tile Studio. The download link is in the description. Okay, um, hello YouTube. This is the first tutorial I've ever made on spriting. This is also the best sprite I have ever made in spriting. Yeah, he's awesome. Look at him shake. Alright, so anyway, um, yeah, we're just gonna do a lot of trial and error. Believe it or not, this dude right here took me forever to draw. Oh my god. Oh, and it was so boring because I had no music, but now we have music. It is awesome music. As a matter of fact, I'll put it on right now. It's a Final Fantasy VI remix by SSH.JP, some Japanese website. I need to turn it down a little bit so you can hear me too. You know that song is awesome. Alright, well anyway, um, enjoy that while we make a sprite. I already made a new uh, Tiles 2 thing. Oh, here we go. Make this your transparent color. Always. But, you know, it's too late for that, so just make green ish your transparent color. That's too bright. So we will just use green, some dark green. I selected the 8-bit, I mean, the 6 color palette for a reason, because it's just awesome. Select your skin color, zoom in, draw your face, your head, for your character. Don't worry, you will look a lot better when we are done with it, but we are not done. So anyway, select black for the hair because black is always the easiest to start with for hair. Draw down here, down here, not too far out. If you draw too far out or too high up, it looks retarded. Trust me. But if you do accidentally do that, just go ahead and pause the video and like redo it. Because I might actually have to redo it a few times myself. Hopefully. Oh, I guess I'll end it at. Well, it's 8:25 now, so I guess I'll just end it at 9:20. Turn me 9.33. Just be safe because I didn't know the time. Okay. Now, his face looks way, way too fat, right? So, what do we do? We do that. Wait, I grabbed him wrong. That. Now, his face is not too long, but it is still is too tall. And it is still too long, so we undo. Trial and error, people. Trial and error. Oh, face of fatty. That is more like this. Now we go. Fill in a little square. Make his hair go down a little more than that, because... His hair is too tall. See? His hair is, he looks like a giant pineapple. But oh well, he can be fixed. His hair is still too tall. But it's this part, really, that's too tall. Okay. Just shrink it like that now. This really, this side of his hair was just crazy. So is this part. It doesn't go down enough for one. It's too far out. Now we can fix his hair. Slowly but surely we are getting it. And if you don't have patience, then you need to gain some. Because I learned making sprites requires a large amount of patience. Now he's shrink his face this way. Ah. There, that's decent. Good. Actually, that's really good. That is really, really good. You can, like, add extra hair things if you want to 
Like that. Um, now we make his eyes. His eyes must be outlined. If you wish for them to look okay. Three, three, pi four pixels up. Well, three pixels technically, because one, two, three, and then two down here. Two, three. Now we take the white, fill it in. Oh, it's awesome. We should do white hair next. Yes, in the next video, I will definitely do white hair because that is awesome. Well, actually, on the next sprite because it's going to take a lot more than 10 minutes to draw one sprite for the first time since it's trial and error. He has gray eyes because he is awesome. Uh, Now we need to shade it. Wait. Oops, I forgot something. We need to do an outline on his body. We'll basically just connect from his hair right here. That's all you have to do. Yeah, really, just connect from his hair. I just learned something new while I'm teaching you guys something that I also don't know how to do. <laughs> that well, anyway. Now, his eyes are, like, off a little. Now, they are not. No. Yes, he is a tiny sprite. No, that eye looks ugly. That's fine right there. That is awesome. Now, we do the blurring fix thingy. But yeah. Alright, now for the highlighting of his hair. Take the little lighting tool. Draw about right there, I guess. Paint it. Now for this part, go right here. I uh, forgot something. Do a double lighting thing. Oops. Double lighting effect right here. Along the sides. Because you will need it. Okay, now you just take the black tool again. And just trace on the outside. But get rid of the lighting tool or else you will make it even brighter. Yeah, just trace along the outside. I mean the edges, not the outside. If you make it outside, it looks too bulky. His hair looks funny. Make sure you don't do like a traveling thing either. Okay, traveling is like when you go like, when you turn an edge like that. Instead, turn an edge like that. You know, don't travel because traveling makes it look fat and ugly. Okay. Even though his hair has to be gray right there. Well, isn't that just awesome? That looks fine. And dandy, if you ask me. Then again, no one actually asked me, so it doesn't matter. Alright, yeah, and just kind of smoothing it out like that. Alright, that looks awesome for a head. And I got two minutes left, so what can I do in two minutes? Because I didn't look at the time, so I'm going to stop this one short. This will also tell me, you know, if you guys actually like this or not, and would like me to continue. Actually, yeah, instead of wasting time, I'm going to want to make sure that you guys actually want me to go through with this first. So, message me, or actually just leave a comment saying that if you want more or not, more tutorials and stuff, because eventually we'll be able to make things even a hundred times better than this. But, you know, I am just like you right now. I'm a beginner, but I try to make this as least boring as possible. Um, alright. Awesome, just let me know.